One and four, Trevor. Hi, Erica. I can see you. <laughs> Who can tell if my volume's too high? No. I don't know. Hey, we almost match our mic colors. I can hear Thortuck, but not Erica. Erica, say something. Say something. Now I can hear I'm giving up. up on you. Careful with that laptop. The cord might push it over the edge. That cord. <laughs> there. <laughs> All right. How, you, how are you guys feeling? Tired. Tired. <laughs> 12 hours of uh, Breath of the Wild. It's quite the commitment. Yeah. Yeah, even if you aren't the one on the controller, um, just being down there, making sure the team's still on track. I guess I gotta eat the mic, eh? <laughs> it's just got a face. <laughs> well, cool. Um, so Breath mic. Did, Sorry. Did it live up to your expectations? Yeah. I didn't get to fight a Lionel or Ganon, so I'm pretty sad. How am I now? Am, am I still loud? A great answer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm watching the Twitch chat. They're saying I am heck loud. Holy crap loud. Thor talk volume too loud. Breath mic. So I'm trying to address that. I'm sorry. Breath mic. Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Apologies to headphone users Breath for that. Oh, it's a Sheikah yeah, triangle. Yeah, why don't, why don't you show them your chair? That's so Just, easy. Can we turn that camera on? No or? drinks, Tim. No, he's just got to have a Okay. Sit down. I didn't play Breath of the Wild, but I bought this really cool t-shirt. <laughs> and I'm here. I saw and that And you're one. here. <laughs> Kevin, we have the other camera hooked up, too, just in case. What was the question? Uh, your expectations. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, uh, I wonder if I maybe might have picked the wrong line with that, uh, that one objective for the, uh, that we didn't complete, where it's the, it's the only thing for us to do in Hebrew, because when I was picking objectives, I was thinking more of how easy they are to do, and not where in the world they were. So I feel like I didn't really optimize our traveling the world. I was focusing more on each individual thing was quick and easy to do. But if they're all far apart from each other, I, I did not factor in travel time at all. With okay, my, that's a good point. So. What do you think about our team? Today? I'm too quiet now. Too quiet. I don't okay. know. I mean, we seem to be doing pretty well at first. Yeah, then. Somehow we were hurt, and I don't know. I guess they just <laughs> happened to choose a better line. I think the Korok seeds... Maybe mess this up. We had I two Korok seeds and then the addition. We had three Korok seeds. Yeah, we check. had three Mike Korok check. seeds. So we had a lot of traveling and doing some ridiculous climbing. So I don't know if that contributed to it or not. Uh huh. But what did you what did you think about the way like the style we played this game though the bingo style? I think it was awesome. I it mean, awesome. we raised a lot of money for charity by okay, doing good. this game, which yeah. is really awesome. I mean, we almost got we almost got the Master Sword. But we didn't quite make it. But I mean, no. still, $700. That's awesome. <laughs> On just this one game, yeah. how much is the total for the whole marathon so far? 1600 1600 <laughs> Okay. And so, like, almost half of that was during this one game. So that's yeah. not bad. Yeah, especially, we're already pretty close to, like, what we usually do, right? Mm -hmm. We have a goal for 2000 So, so we're I really think close. we can do much better. I think we can triple that. Yeah. A link to the past always. I think link oh, yeah. to the past will definitely help. So the uh, as far as the bingo, um, bingo card not being on the stream, I'm hoping that that didn't confuse the audience because on stream we just had each team's objectives only, and so I'm not sure if the bingo really transmitted to the audience. What does the audience think? Did the the did the bingo ness of it get across? As far as the fact that each of our goals were in a line on a card I at all? Well. I, I mean, we did, because we know what we're doing, yeah, but did yeah. that make sense to the audience? It probably took a little explaining, but I think... Yeah, but oh, yeah. but other than that, 
other than that, I think Bingo was amazing because we had all these multiple objectives. We had bonus objectives that were a secret to everybody, and then we unlocked them. So. And for Breath of the Wild, it's really hard to do anything else. I mean, this works perfectly for this game. You got to see, sure, you saw each Divine Beast four times and Thunderbite Glen and Death's like a hundred of those. But, you know, <laughs> like, you got to see but something a little different from every every team. Super sweet victory. One really sweet Thunderbite Glen. Yeah. Okay, so the comments <laughs> seem to be the longer you were watching, the more sense it made to you. Okay. So people who just joined later on, they were like, bingo, what? Yeah. <laughs> it's a new format, so... So there's a few kinks to work out there. <laughs> and so the, uh, but as far as I agree, getting to see different aspects of the game, some some you saw every team, so you could compare the team's performance, and some were doing their own thing. So uh, who won? That was Team Red. What is this? Team Fish, I think. What did you think about? Team Mop. What did you think about Team Mop? <laughs> uh, yeah, they, uh... I, I saw them whistle sprinting and stuff, so they they were putting on their serious A game. Um, we I blame Josh. He didn't whistle sprint in the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> and here over on our team, we're all three newbies, and Allison was really uh, impressed f for like completing those dungeons like far faster than I could because I'm pulling out the guide and everything. But, uh, yeah, I think uh, they really brought their A game. They optimized their route, which I said I failed at. Um, they, uh, they, they really... Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> she still wants to play. That's how I, much fun she's having. I want to be Ganon. I want to get that shield. I want to kill all the guardians of the galaxy. Yeah, it, it would almost it would almost be fun if we both went towards <laughs> Ganon really right now. It's, if we weren't over stream, we could have like all done Ganon at the same time when the first team was ready to do it. Yeah. Even though we hadn't finished, our, and that could have been fun. So that might be for next year. Yeah. Is like okay, the first team's ready. Everybody go fight Ganon. So. And if you haven't done Divine Beast yet, oh well. So That's just a handicap when it comes to fighting, because then you have to do a 25% more damage to him. Yeah, so you, you've already determined who's first and who's not, and then, you know, if you do defeat Ganon before the first team, then bonus points, but whatever. But yeah, this was, uh, this was a blast. I really like the, uh, the mix and match of the objectives. Um, getting those Koroks, that was fun. Cool, cool. Yeah. Yeah. You found like a hundred of me. Well, <laughs> if you're if you're feeling tired, you can get some rest because I guess Kevin has some questions he needs to ask me. Apparently. I do. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. Thank I'm gonna you go for again. being interviewed. Yeah, we're gonna high five you. Twitch thank chat. You. <laughs> thank All right. you. All right, we're gonna. I'm gonna go fight calamity. All righty, we're gonna go ahead and uh, get oh. Kevin and Gooey set up here. Okay. All right. Hey, Goo. Hey. How you doing? I'm good. How are you feeling after that race? I'm feeling uh, excited. That was really fun. Yeah. Yeah. What was your favorite part about it? Um, it was. There were two things. Like, it was really fun to like, just help the person and and route you know route the race for whoever. But uh, one thing I also really enjoyed about it was, like, playing it. And how it had this uh, scavenger hunt aspect to it. Yeah. Like, I had more, I actually had more fun playing this here now than I did, like, the entire time I played the game when I came out. You're a little loud. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Not close or further. So, I had, yeah, I had more fun playing it this time than the entire time I had it when it came out. Just because, yeah. um, honestly. I love the game, but I got I got kind of over the exploration. For, for, for me personally, I know it's different for other people, but the idea of now like we're just taking this world and you like are doing something in it that the game sort of doesn't intend. It doesn't intend for it to be played like this, but it works perfectly for it. So yeah, like in a normal playthrough, like defeating Thunderblight Ganon in, in ridiculous fashion, and then like oh yeah, let's go get some Koroks, <laughs> and like oh I need Flint to get a Sapphire Circle. Yeah. Yeah, um, I thought that was amazing. Let's talk about that Thunderblight Ganon fight, because that was, <laughs> like, I, I had chills. That was awesome. I blew your mind. Yeah. I thought it was great. You're um, really putting me over right now. I'm, yeah, I'm putting Goo over. <laughs> this is great. This was That was a great fight. I want to clip that and put that up on YouTube. Oh, I will show, I'll show that to my, my children, my grandchildren. <laughs> it was, like, three flurry rushes in a row. 
right? Yeah, yeah. That was, and then I failed a little bit, but then kept going. That was incredibly impressive. I uh, actually did not not to toot my own, own horn because I kind of just wanted to, but I did three of the blights. Uh, oh wow! Just just because I actually I actually kind of enjoyed them for the most part. Yeah. What's the what's your most like what's your favorite part of playing Breath of the Wild? Breath of the Wild. Oh, the Highland like Shield. Like on your own and and here. Like during during two, or like what's the difference like between playing it like casually for fun maybe you're like cruising around taking pictures of things or you know climbing towers oh I mean versus like playing it now actually playing it now actually made me enjoy some of the elements that in like like me and Moss's High Rule Compendium videos where we are more negative about it like like not negative but more critical criti- yeah criticism like. Like, we're, you know, all the blights are the same. Uh, not the same, but they're very similar. And yeah. then the divine beasts are very similar. But in this, it didn't really matter because there was just, like, the the competition to, like, get everything done. Yeah, and almost like a forced variety, too. So it's like, oh, well, we need to, like, do these things. Whereas, like, maybe you're kind of, like, figuring things out the first time that you're playing the game and like sort of almost like grinding those things out right Mm -hmm. like oh i need to get like a ton of rupees yeah so the great fairy you know actually the first time i played i was very driven one of my criticism was i was very driven by the waypoints and they only gave the waypoints for some of the super main missions yeah but then not so much the side quests Okay. So usually, if I'm if I'm like, oh, I'm nearby here, and I see there's like a like a waypoint for one of the divine beasts, I'm like, oh, I'll just go do this. And then by the time I got to the fourth one, I was like, oh, I should just go beat the game. And I didn't do a lot of the side stuff. Yeah. So I actually liked for my play style, this worked a lot because, uh, I could then, I'd be like, I have to go do this thing. So I I did a bunch of stuff I would have never done, like get all these Korok seeds or, mm-hmm. um. I don't know what else we did. Oh, I don't know. Tr- try to upgrade a specific type of armor or something. Yeah. Like, I, I would hope we do this again next year and I get one that has, like, side quests on it and stuff. Because I haven't even seen a lot of the side quests of the game. Yeah, and it kind of makes you think, like, putting yourself in that moment of, like, all right, I need to find was it 14 side quests? Yeah. Like, where do you even start, you know? You yeah. start with the Zelda Dungeon Informer wiki. Of course. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's, well, we didn't even... You had it up the whole time, though, right? Like, having the map open and, and seeing, the, especially in, for the Korok. The interactive map was very helpful, yeah. Even for finding the towers and stuff like that. Yeah. That was, like, a staple, like, on this Mac. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's, it's beautiful. Like, having that open. It's such a, they did such a good job with that map. Um, Yeah, I don't know, I... I hope to do it again next year and actually get to do some side quests, cool. like I said. Anything that you would change about to the, the format? Um, I thought it was pretty fun. I thought it was cool. As someone who was like on the outside looking in, I had a great time. Yeah, I can't think of I can't think of what should be different. I'm sure in some brainstorming, some people will come up with some good ideas that I wouldn't have thought of. But yeah. uh, for the most part, I just had a lot of fun. Well, what was going on yeah, in there? That was some uh, some serious action going on over there. <laughs> it was a heck of a guardian fight. Were they? Are you guys set up? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay. Cool. Oh, well, cool. That this was fun yeah, doing this. This was fun. This was a good time, Gooey. Thank, so, thank you for you buying time, Gooey. Oh yeah. So tell us about Tail Cave. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, all right. Uh, on this episode of the Hyrule Compendium... No, get back here! <laughs> no, nah, thanks, everyone. All righty. Thank you.